Before this slam became so grand. Before all the glitz and all the glam. Before Arthur Ashe was a stadium full of fans, there was just Arthur Ashe, the man. A symbol of change in a year of great change and greater challenges facing America. I shall not sue the nomination of my party for another term as your president. And against that backdrop of revolution, a most revolutionary thing was happening in tennis. As the sports major events opened their doors to professional players, allowing them to compete with amateurs to finally see who's best, ushering in a new open era of tennis. And in 1968, the U.S. National Championships became the U.S. Open. With Arthur Ashe, an amateur, capturing the inaugural men's crown, and Virginia Wade, a professional, capturing the women's title. That first year would set the tone for an event that would come to be known for both evolution and revolution. An event defined by equality, innovation, and excitement. And in the 50 years that followed, a tennis championship has become a grand event. Its players, global celebrities, its stage, the grandest in the sport. The U.S. Open, built on history, built for glory.